to my channel uh, so today we are uh, going to see uh, the certification journey of uh, ISTKB performance testing certification and uh, this has been uh, uh, provided by uh, Indian testing board uh, from India uh, here uh, if you see like I have taken the exam on uh, 11th of September 2024 so like uh, you know, uh, whoever, you know, uh, thinking of uh, taking the certification for a long term, uh, this video is going to, you know, help you to some extent, uh, you know, take the certification plan it and uh, take the certification accordingly. Uh, uh, so, like, uh, many of us, like, uh, we uh, plan for the certifications and uh, we assume things like uh, uh, so that the difficulty level would be higher and uh, it is difficult to crack. So nothing like that, guys. Like uh, here, uh, I will be sharing you the uh, simple tips to uh, crack this exam as easy as possible. Okay, so this is my uh, learning path. First, I will give you the overview how I, you know, started uh, preparing this for certification. And first of all, I have some performance testing background. I know uh, before. Uh, mm, you know, going to directly to the certification. So, like, uh, I would recommend if you have some, you know, hands on, uh, that would be the best uh, thing, you know, to take the certification. Or if you want to take it uh, as a fresher level, or if you are trying to switch the career from manual testing to performance testing, something like that, then you can also very well try this. Actually, if you are uh, trying some performance testing codes, you know, and uh, followed by that, you are taking this uh, certification, that would really be a uh, value add to your profile. Okay, well, let's start. Like this IST can be performance, I mean, for specialist performance tester. So first thing what I did is like any, I mean, any certification, definitely there will be some, you know, uh, the exam syllabus, okay. Uh, certainly we have to go through that uh, syllabus each and every word because, you know, most of the questions are coming from that syllabus only. Like uh, very few were like, uh, you know, uh, scenario based questions, which I got and uh, I was able to answer those questions as well. Okay. So now uh, understand, uh, second, secondly, we have to understand the K level. What is that uh, K level? I will tell you. And uh, third thing is like how I booked the exam and how I took the exam. So all these four things I will cover up uh, in this video. And firstly, and this is the ISTQB uh, that website istqp.in uh, here if you can uh, you know open this website and you can see the variety of uh, you know certifications at all the levels like a uh, pressure level advanced level uh, the advanced level like uh, it's mostly for the test manager test automation so like now why are we doing this certification like uh, what is the significance uh, like, uh, you know, if you want to stand out from the crowd, okay, see, let's see, like some, uh, you know, uh, some uh, hundred resumes are going into the, uh, uh, going to the HR for, you know, uh, for shortlisting. Like, uh, it will be an easy task for the you know, HR to uh, uh, scrutinize easily. Somebody has done uh, extra, you know, uh, went extra mile to do a certification. That would, you know, uh, help uh, to help you to stand out from the crowd. So that is the only uh, intention we are going, you know, uh, one step forward and uh, preparing for the certification and uh, uh, spending, um, uh, I mean, uh, the amount of, I mean, certification cost, like spending uh, 8,000 rupees. It's, uh, I would say it's uh, really worth spending it. It's a one-time investment and it's, a uh, you know, a lifetime uh, certification, like validity is there, lifetime validity is there for the certification. So there are a few other certifications where, you know, it's like a three years validity only like uh, this certification, you know, it's a lifelong. And uh, if you, moreover, if you uh, see the uh, different testings like foundation, advanced in agile uh, and the specialist level, you see here, the specialist level talks about the, uh, the performance testing. Uh, if you see here, the performance level shows various uh, a remote protractor exam, take the exam from home. This option, you know, started uh, uh, popping in once the uh, COVID period started for us. And, uh, you know, see, uh, there is different uh, testing, uh, uh, flavors of testing certifications are there. Even AI, the latest one, uh, also it has been added. And in some of the uh, new certifications, I see uh, this, uh, I see this, uh, 
new certification i uh, see this j meter as well they have added it uh, but uh, i'm not sure like uh, uh, what is the course content uh, included for that and selenium who over looking for automation um, testers like automation testers looking for the selenium certification uh, it's here and artificial intelligence blockchain all latest things are there so like uh, if you click on this uh, uh, remote protracted exam it will uh, take you to the uh, the exam uh, payment page like it says 6300 here like uh, with tax it will come close to 8000 so once you you know uh, book the exam uh, if you uh, click on this add button it will show you it is showing here including gst and booking prices but it will you know add up that uh, cost tax um, so here if you see like you have to key in your details the email id the confirmation email id and uh, the all the mandatory fields you can uh, fill in and uh, next is about uh, you have to uh, uh, keep an eye on your email okay you will be getting that uh, uh, invoice copies the payment which you have done and uh, that you will be getting one more mail uh, from another uh, member like asking you to forward this uh, tax and uh, invoice copy once it has been forwarded and uh, uh, it is a step-by-step -step process like once you book the exam and uh, they will be uh, you know asking uh, you to uh send this uh, this, uh tax copies and then voice invoice uh, details and uh, for, for subsequently they'll be asking uh you for uh, you know uh opting for the dates like uh, which date i mean uh, three to four dates they will be giving to you and uh, you can select uh, the convenient data whichever you feel comfortable and uh, uh and also the time slot will not be available while you choose the dates like it will be you know you'll come you'll be coming to know uh, come to know that on uh, a day before the exam only. Uh, but you can um, ask any queries via mail and uh, there are also some couple of contacts mentioned in the uh, websites. You can reach out to them very well. They will be uh, always there to support you between the weekdays. And uh, okay, let's move on to the uh, certification uh, syllabus. So if you see here, uh, like uh, remote protractor exam, and uh, if you see here the new certification the specialist and click on this performance testing uh, and the performance testing you will be having this uh, syllabus materials for download and uh, the benefits of the certification everything you can watch it here uh, so here like contents like is takeaway specialist foundation level performance testing so they have categorized into five sections. If you see the basic concepts, performance measurements, fundamentals, performance testing in software testing life cycle, and uh, uh, performance testing task. It's more. It's more like uh, you know software testing life cycle and its PT performance testing life cycle. The basic concepts. Um, you need to understand the basic uh, concepts. And here they have called out the uh, business outcomes, and uh, uh, um, and the learning objectives is there followed by that so how we should learn the tips is being given here and the syllabus and the exam structure so let's see the exam structure first like uh, there are 40 questions like uh, uh you, you might have seen somebody have taken uh, the ist could be foundation level for uh, manual testing like uh, that uh, functional testing so that uh, has 40 questions the same exam section is applied for uh, performance testing as well and the exam time is 90 minutes and the uh, the questions you uh, write questions you wanted to uh, take is like 65 percentage to be completed which is 26 out of 40 it's a pass percentage uh, but aim higher don't aim for the pass mark like uh, aim higher so here uh, is the materials for the download uh, like uh, ctflpt so it's 2018 updated uh, syllabus document and uh, here i'm just downloading this one and uh, showing you so here if you see the 59 pages a document is available so uh, one moment. i just wanted to say uh, yeah this is the foundation level syllabus once you complete the uh, certification successfully you will be uh, you know uh, able to uh, uh, add this in your uh, uh, resume you can post it in the linkedin and uh, it's definitely it's a value add uh, guys so trust me um, and uh, here if you see uh, let's come down uh, so the, the levels would have been mentioned like uh, k level what are the k levels uh, here 
if you see here the k level and the keywords so the k level kind of questions see if you see here, the syllabus considers four different k levels k1 means it's remember k2 is an understanding and k3 is an applying the concepts and k4 is the analyze so you need to analyze the uh, uh, you know scenario based questions and uh, answer it like um, uh, there are some few questions which i got uh, you know, answering using the uh, little slab uh, formula, okay, uh, like uh, giving the uh, uh, TPS transactions per second and uh, uh, giving the uh, number of users and uh, uh, the average response time. So, uh, like uh, the keeping any one parameter as an unknown parameter, they were asking the questions. Like uh, uh, the questions, the question is same, but the you know the uh, followed by the ants. I mean. Uh, the scenario is same and the ask uh, the question is different so that is what the uh, the questions which uh, you know i got in my exam and if you see uh, training times and uh, that talking about the basic concepts and how much time you, you wanted to spend on the each topic and there are some uh, you know uh, youtube uh, contents also with respect to this isjbg performance testing you can uh, yeah, very well go through that uh, content as well and uh, uh, if you can go through this uh, uh, resource utilization i mean uh, this contents like read uh, word by word understand what they are trying to say like uh, i would suggest you to take the uh, notes at least uh, you know uh, uh, once if you can uh, go through the syllabus and uh, take the notes, you don't need to go through this uh, 59 pages every time. Uh, you can quickly go through your, uh, you know, uh, smart notes and uh, uh, understand uh, and recall recall the concepts and uh, re revisit the things. So uh, that is how it works, guys. And uh, uh, first and secondly, what I wanted to share it uh, right uh, in the notepad, just like... Uh, Understand the K level, yeah. The booking the exam, we have seen like how to book the exam, and uh, the how I take the exam is like it's a remote uh, protracted uh, exam. Okay, so uh, the uh, invigilator will come in the online, and uh, that exam uh, process, online process was uh, really hassle free, guys. Like uh, trust me, like on the day before they shared the uh, exact you know exam happening scenario uh, video, and uh, uh, it, that would really help me to visualize the. Uh, things how would the exam go and what i should do and what i should not do in the exam that clarity was uh, you know pretty much uh, uh, clear and uh, so once the uh, test is started and uh, they asked me to uh, show uh, the uh, laptop around the room and uh, yeah uh, i ensured like uh, there is a pin drop silence in my room and uh, i uh, kept the mobile away uh, from the room and i was very very uh, you know uh, very sure like uh, I need to focus only on that my laptop I did not get distracted anywhere and uh, once the uh, you know exam is started yes timer was uh, running and uh, 40 questions yes I had 19 minutes I had ample time I felt uh, there was more time uh, so some questions were really you no know, straightforward questions and some were uh, uh, like uh, scenario based like uh, from the, let's say from question number uh, 30 to 40 i saw that somewhere uh, more of scenario based questions so, but it was uh, manageable only like able to uh, clear the exam uh, easily and uh, and uh, this certification uh, and this certification you know uh, uh, I have taken it on uh, 11th of September, okay. Uh, the thing is like I did uh, got the uh, result, uh, I think within three days I got to know like congratulations you have passed the exam, I received the mail from uh, them testing board and uh, subsequently I asked them like uh, when will I get the certification so they uh, informed me like you'll be getting it in four to six weeks uh, Okay. Uh, so the, uh, we I got only the soft copy uh, that is the uh, protocol which they are following like the, and uh, this you know uh, certification uh, it's from Indian testing board and from ISGKB international software testing qualification board this is always recognizable and uh, guys like uh, trust me like I uh, did the you know uh, uh, this functional testing certification um, in 2011 okay uh, once I started my career in the testing that certification was you know uh, 
uh, really uh, demanding uh, that period but uh, yeah uh, that was really helpful you know to uh, uh, to get stand out from the crowd uh, from the uh, you know uh, from the recruiters uh, point of view like uh, uh, once you add the certification and once you post it in the linkedin uh, definitely you know uh, they will uh, uh, think this candidate has you know gone an extra mile to put efforts and uh, do the certification okay so uh, and one more thing i wanted to share is like uh, the additional uh, thing which i did is like i uh, uh, purchased this uh, mock test in a uh, udemy okay so here you know i after reviewing the comments uh, like i uh, got to know like uh, this exam uh, practice test you know six questions are uh, that much uh, similar like i was able to go through all the tests and successfully able to clear the exam uh, my only intention to share the uh, certification path with you all like uh, uh, it's it if i it that be an eye opener for you like uh, you know uh, the, we can uh, do it as uh, as soon as possible just uh, fix the time like up uh, two to three weeks and uh, go through the concepts and you'll be able to uh, clear the certification as soon as uh, possible and uh, thank you very much guys uh, for uh, watching this video i will put the uh, udemy certification uh, i mean udemy codes uh, practice i mean uh, the practice questions uh, link in my youtube description and uh, i hope this uh, video is uh, uh, useful for you and uh, thank you so much for watching this video and uh, please do like uh, share and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you guys